Weather has caused some of our trees to emerge from dormancy a little earlier than usual this year. But this new specialist Jed Bull shows us early buds do not always lead to damage for the trees. Mike, in yards all across the Wasatch Front, uh, some flowers are starting to emerge from the warm soil and buds are starting to appear on many of our trees. Whether there will be any damage from those early buds all depends on the weather in the weeks ahead. Not far from the banks of the Jordan River. This is a Siberian elm. Trees are budding a few weeks early. This is a crab apple, and you can see that the buds are breaking already. Jaron Farley, an arborist with the Utah Department of Natural Resources, took a close look at the trees with me. The trees are starting to break from dormancy. They're starting to bud out a little bit. From cottonwoods and elms to flowering pears and crab trees. Perhaps it's a, a few weeks earlier than, than tip, what we typically have but it's certainly not as early as, say, last year. When trees budded and even leafed out even a couple of weeks earlier, then freezing temperatures returned. Which damaged a lot of the tree tissues. A lot of trees uh, lost, more sensitive to cold lost their leaves and had to grow a new set of leaves for that season. That pattern last year hurt the fruit crop too. If the weather stays warm, the trees will develop early. If cold weather returns after buds have developed, that can affect the trees this season. But right now, the arborist is not too worried about the health of established trees. I don't see any buds breaking enough that they're gonna be damaged yet. They haven't reached that stage yet. And if you're allergic to tree pollen, elm, cedar, and cottonwood, you may have started sneezing about five or six days ago. I talked with an allergist who said that was when he started to see many of his early patients. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl reporting. Yeah, I could explain a lot of what's going on in my home right now. All right, Jed, thank you. Dini?